Page 76. Unit 8. Get ready. Words. A. Listen and say the words. Then read and listen to the sentences. Exhibition. Frame. Landscape. Texture. Shading. Perspective. Contrast. Space. Stained. Brilliant. Pale. One. Visitors to our school can see an exhibition of student art. Two. Kara put a wooden frame around her painting. 3. The landscape showed tall mountains and a river. 4. David uses paper and cloth to give his paintings texture. 5. The shading of the ball with light and dark lines made it look round. 6. The drawing's perspective made the streets look very long. 7. A black and white painting has a lot of contrast. 8. The small objects in the painting had empty space between them. 9. Paula's apron was stained with many colors of paint. 10. The artist painted the dragonfly with brilliant green wings. 11. The mountains look pale and gray under the cloudy sky. Page 78. Read. Sketches in a Gallery. Each day after school, when other boys play soccer, practice for the school play, or ride bikes, Theo goes to the art museum. Everyone he knows thinks this is strange, even his own family. Don't you want to play a sport or be in the play with all of your friends? I will sign you up for something, his mother offers. Theo does not tell his mother that he has no friends at school. His friends are all here, in the museum. They are on every wall, in brilliant colors and oil paints and pastels. The paintings are Theo's friends. Today, Theo rushes to get to the museum after school because he will be meeting some new friends. An exhibition is opening, The Mountain Landscapes of Zion Khan. Inside the brightly lit gallery, there are ten new paintings, each in a wooden frame. Each painting features a different mountain. Some of the mountains are covered in snow, while others are green or rocky. Theo sits on a bench and looks at one painting for a very long time. He likes the contrast of the heavy black lines of the mountain 
and the pale blue sky. Theo takes out his notebook and his pencil and begins to make a sketch. People come and go from the small gallery, but Theo sits for a long time, making sketch after sketch. After a while, there is only one other person left in the gallery. He is sitting on a bench on the other side of the little room. Theo decides to ignore the man. I don't want to talk to him, Theo thinks. The man stands and walks toward the exit, but he stops next to Theo. Theo's sketch is of a mountain from very far away. The mountain is small and surrounded by space. That's an interesting perspective, the man comments. Theo is shocked. He never shows his artwork to anyone because he worries that it isn't any good. Shall I show you some more sketches? He asks. The man smiles and nods. Theo hands the man his notebook and sits quietly as the man turns the pages. I like the way you create texture with shading, the man remarks. I like to do that too. Theo notices the man's hands and fingers are stained with paint. In his jacket pocket, there are several colored pencils and a paintbrush. He is holding an old tattered sketchbook with his name written on the front. You are Zion Khan, Theo exclaims astounded that he is talking to the famous artist. Zion Khan looks so much younger than Theo imagined, and he is so kind and friendly. That's right, Zion Khan replies. I'm Theo. One day, I want to be an artist like you, Theo tells him. Zion Khan shakes his head. No, don't say that he says. Theo looks down. Oh, he says. Zion Khan points to Theo's notebook. You are already an artist, Theo, he says. Theo is speechless with happiness. He does not say anything else, and neither does Zion Khan. They just sit quietly in the room, sketching, Two artists surrounded by friends. Page 81. Grammar in use. D. Listen and read along. What an interesting face. Let me paint you. Are you hungry? I'll bring you ice cream. No, thanks. I'm finished. Shall I frame it? They just don't understand great art.
Page 82. Listening. A. Compare Impressionist and Traditional Paintings. Listen and check. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Marmoton Monet Museum here in Paris. Our museum has 300 works of art by Claude Monet, the famous Impressionist painter. Here in front of us is Monet's famous painting, Impression, Sunrise. He painted it in 1872. This work is very important. It shows the artist's special way of painting, which is called Impressionism. There are three reasons why Impressionism is special. First, Monet painted outside almost all of the time. He wanted to show the light and colour of nature in his paintings. He painted outside so that he could see this light and colour clearly. Traditional artists often painted inside, even when they painted landscapes. Next, Monet painted this scene by moving his paintbrush in a short, quick way. We call these brush strokes. Do you see the short, colourful brush strokes in this painting? There are no clear lines, and there is not much detail when you look closely. Traditional painters, in Monet's time, painted with a lot of detail. Finally, most painters mix their colours, but Monet did not mix colours very often. Each of his colours is side by side with other colours. It looks strange when you look at the painting closely. However, when you step back, all of these colours mix together. Suddenly, the painting looks very alive and real. Because he chose to paint in a different way, Claude Monet is now one of the most famous painters of all time. Page 82. B. Listen again. Answer the questions. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Marmoton Monet Museum here in Paris. Our museum has 300 works of art by Claude Monet, the famous Impressionist painter. Here in front of us is Monet's famous painting, Impression, Sunrise. He painted it in 1872. This work is very important. It shows the artist's special way of painting, which is called Impressionism. There are three reasons why Impressionism is special. First, Monet painted outside almost all of the time. He wanted to show the light and colour of nature in his paintings. He painted outside so that he could see this light and colour clearly. Traditional artists often painted inside, even when they painted landscapes. Next, Monet painted this scene by moving his paintbrush in a short, quick way. We call these brush strokes. Do you see the short, colourful brush strokes in this painting? There are no clear lines, and there is not much detail when you look closely. Traditional painters, in Monet's time, painted with a lot of detail. Finally, most painters mix their colours, but Monet did not mix colours very often. Each of his colours is side by side with other colours. It looks strange when you look at the painting closely. However, when you step back, all of these colours mix together. Suddenly, the painting looks very alive and real. Because he chose to paint in a different way, Claude Monet is now one of the most famous painters of all time. Page 82. 
Speaking. C. Learn. Expressing a desire or wish. The verb wish can be used to talk about something you want to do, be, or have, but cannot at this time. I wish I could paint like Claude Monet. I wish I were a famous painter. I wish I had more time to paint. I wish I could go to Berlin. Why do you want to go there? I want to visit the museums there. That sounds fun. I wish I could go with you. Page 83. Word study. D. Listen and read the words. Then match the sentences with synonyms. Beautiful. Gifted. Drab. Pretty. Talented. Dreary.